Thanks for joining me on episode 884 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Wade Galt. I challenge you to invest in yourself, invest in others, develop your influence, and impact the world by using your time, your talent, and your treasures to live out your calling. Having the ability to live to work instead of working to live is key and one way to be inspired. To do that, listen to this the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend, Scott Mader. The truth is all of these things have way more importance than you might think because all too often people never really reach their potential. All too often people never really get to the things that they really want out of life because they never take action to move themselves in that direction. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about investing in others through stewarding your talent, I talk with you about how we all have potential. I talk about how there are tons of tests and ideas about potential, but it really boils down to just a few things. And I also share how the potential you have matters way more than you think. You've heard me talk about developing your talent, and one of the best ways to do that is through books. But if you're like most people today, it's hard to find the time to read. And that's why today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Go to inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to sign up and you can get a 30-day free trial. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from and you can pick one and listen your way to developing your talents via Audible. That's inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to get your free trial and listen to great books the same way you're listening to this podcast. You probably heard that we all have potential, and I would agree with that. And you've also heard that there are people that have wasted their potential. The truth is that a lot of times when we think of potential, we think of an internal hidden talent. We think of that thing that we're so good at or gifted at that this is our potential. That thing that we can do amazingly well with minimal effort. But that's not really what potential means. Potential, at least in the way I define it, is more about your mental strengths. It's more about your willpower. It's more about how you set out and achieve things that you desire than it is about your talent or your gifting. But there are tons of tests out there and ideas about potential, but it really boils down to taking a few simple steps and actions. Simple, but not easy easy. The truth is finding our potential because it's a path, because it's a journey, because it's not something that you can usually do just by taking a test and this identifies what your potential is forever. It's not a number that we can boil down to. It's not a single thing. Instead, it's about the actions that we take to get our desires. So here are the steps to actually figuring out not your talent, not your gifting, but your potential. First is listen to your inner voice. Listen to what your body and mind and soul are telling you is worth working for. What are the things that your body and mind and soul say are worthy of doing and putting effort towards? Make a list of things that you want. Make a realistic list. Make something that you want to really have, but put some level on it that makes it something that you can achieve. And odds are really good that you're going to try to make that list smaller than it should be because we actually have the potential to reach way more than we think 
that we're going to. This doesn't have to be something that you think you're great at. This doesn't have to be something that you particularly have talent in, but it's the reason that you want something and it's the something that you want. And then begin taking small actions towards it. Begin to practice. If you want to get better at singing, begin begin practicing singing. If you want to get better at writing, begin to practice writing. Whatever skill it is, whatever knowledge it is, begin to take small steps towards gaining that. Begin to put time and energy and effort into it. Begin to define the goals that you have. What is it going to look like when you achieve that? What is the intention behind it? What is the value behind it? And what is the cost? What are you willing to give up to get that result? Because the truth is, everything that we do, we give up something. And then begin to set milestones, begin to figure out what is the path towards this thing? What are the big steps that I need to achieve? How can I break this down into smaller parts and smaller segments? Remember, I talked before about experimenting. This is when you begin to experiment with ways to move in that direction. You have to learn to accept your failures as well, because the truth is you are going to fail along this journey. And that's an okay thing as long as you're learning and growing and moving down the path. And lastly, you need to begin to celebrate your successes. Learn to hold out those things that you do and hold them up and celebrate them. Celebrate the successes, celebrate finding problems, celebrate all of these things because they all make you learn. And the truth is, all of these things have way more importance than you might think because all too often people never really reach their potential. All too often people never really get to the things that they really want out of life because they never take action to move themselves in that direction. They keep it as a dream instead of a goal. They keep it as something that is out there because the truth is most people are so afraid of failure and so afraid of success that they don't want to take action towards it because if they do, then by definition, they've already begun to fail. But that isn't true because remember, we're redefining failure as learning. And as long as you're learning, you're making progress on the journey towards your potential. So I ask you this, what is it that you really desire? What is the potential that you want to begin to unlock today? Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of talent, you can go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash talent and sign up for our five-week series on the stewardship of talent. Or if you're in the U.S., you can text 44222 talent tips, that's talent tips, to 44222 and get those tips. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures. Develop your influence and impact the world.